guys and welcome back to a new video where you get to spend the weekend with me. We're starting this video off at work with me trying to get some last minute tasks done before starting a new job but I hope you guys enjoy today's video and it's a cosy spoiler free reading vlog too. chapter four and this book has me internally screaming literally this far through i am convinced jessa hastings is trying to put me in a spiral i've literally just got to the bit about december 3rd i literally can't do this i literally need the rest out crying treat myself and i've got um a gift card for the works for like 20 pound so i thought i'll treat myself today i'm going to show you my little book shopping fit because it's adorable this is the little fit got my green jumper on from sheen that i got this week um i've put a little top on underneath so it's like not too cold when i go out this little bag that i got for christmas oh my god how adorable is it and you can actually fit a book in here but i'm currently reading my only parts on my home so that's not gonna fit in here it's a bit big <laughs> and then these cute little um what are they called like split seam jeans um, and then i'm gonna put on my air force but how cute is this outfit <laughs> air freshener sorry i'm so thirsty now generally shopping stresses me out like in-person shopping very stressful my anxiety doesn't cope well with shopping and i just like to get in and out of places like as quick as i can but i've just got home secured some of the goods they didn't have butcher and blackbird so i really really want to read that um so I'm, i think i'm just going to order it online anyway before i go in i thought i'd do a little book haul so first of all i went to the works if you haven't been to the works in a while go in great selection at the moment um and as i mentioned i had a works gift card so i got some a few i got how many did i get five books 
um and i think i literally had to pay like a pound or whatever and some of that was for the bag so so the first two that i got was the right move and caught up in the windy city series i started this series um this year actually i started in january um as i had did I, have, I don't know if i had mile high for christmas or i bought it somewhere i can't really remember um i might have ordered it online actually on amazon i think that's what i did but earlier in the year um that book wasn't my favorite but other people have said to try the rest of the series and the the works actually have them in for five pound each at the moment so i picked up the second and the third one and i think the fourth one might be coming out this year so then at least i'll be on top of that then i got the first book in the good girls in a good girl's guide to murder series they've got the whole series in the work so um but i just bought the first one and then i'll order the others online when i've read this one um as i didn't want to buy too too many books today like i could have easily bought others in a series but i just was like no i'll just stop and buy the one <laughs> um but i've heard great things about it and i am looking forward to reading that one then i got the graham effect by al kennedy which i'm really excited to read as i absolutely love all of al kennedy's um hockey romances um both the off campus series and the bro you series um i think i prefer the off campus series just because i love garrett and hannah so much and um what is the book that has dean in is it the score that one um and all the new covers have come out so i've asked for some of those for my birthday um but yeah, so she brought out the Graham effect, which I think is Garrett Graham's daughter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. Oh, also, it has um, a picture of the new cover on the back for the deal. But yeah, I'm excited about that one. And then the works are in the Freedom McFadden era, which I've never read a Freedom McFadden book. But um, Sarah Caroli, she reads so many of them and always raves about them. So I picked up The Locked Door. They had this and never lie um and i just didn't know which one so i just ended up picking up this one it is in the three for six section so it is never lie but um yeah i only wanted to pick up the one today and try it and see how i feel about it i'm more in the mood at the moment for like thrillers or like romances with a bit of something extra in there so yeah and then i went to waterstone was looking for butcher and blackbird in there um and they didn't have it which i'm disappointed at because i really really want to read that book however they did have two books that i really wanted um the first one being if he had been with me again i'm in my sad girl era so <laughs> we're going with one of these they also had the other one but i'm pretty sure i saw it in the works before i bought this one in waterstones because they didn't have this one but i'm sure they had the new one um so when i've read this i might order the other one from the works because it's cheaper <laughs> um and the other one had like red edges in waterstones and i know sometimes we live a sprayed edge but it just it wasn't given for me th this time <laughs> um but yeah heard great but sad things about this but i am looking forward to giving it a read giving you my thoughts and then something that is so high on my priority read list right now that i'm so excited i found at the shop the naturals i i didn't also think it was going to be this small like in terms of length of book but so excited so the natural series by jennifer lynn barnes is kind of like um a bit like criminal minds but in a book um and there's like i think there's four or five in the series um and yeah this is the first one so i really wanted to read it again i've seen lots of people um and sarah carodis talk about it say that it's really good quite a quick paced read um or just series is quick paced in general so they only had the first one in the series otherwise i would have bought some of the other ones but i have about 30 pages left of magnolia parks the long way home i'm worried i'm so worried i know something happens at the end i don't know what well i've heard a seen a spoiler for into the dark so i'm thinking that i know what's gonna happen um and everything's going suspiciously well at the moment and obviously we know jessa hastings and things don't stay 
suspiciously well. So I'm very worried. I'm currently on page 471. I don't have 30. How did I work that out? <laughs> I have about 50. I'm on 471 and there's like 524 or something pages in. So I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared. Jessa Hastings, you have broke my heart. Even though I knew that that was going to happen because I saw a spoiler the other week, it still doesn't make it any less sad. Oh my god. And it's not even like just what happened, but like Jessa's writing just makes everything so much more sad and like it's everything was going so well um i'm very upset also there's hints on like stuff's going on with julian and daisy so i need to read daisy hates the great undoing because i'm sure that's also gonna make me cry and then i'm gonna read into the dark um i'm not quite sure how to process this book not quite sure how I'm going to move past this but yeah I can wholeheartedly say that this was five stars despite and as it says taking the long route to get in where they are the long way home it was worth the journey I feel but very upsetting I just need a little bit of time <laughs> just to process my thoughts and feelings on this and probably cry a bit more because I'm just not quite over what happened at the end of the book. I have I don't have any words. Like I kn I knew that was gonna happen from this spoiler. I didn't know until literally the other day when I saw that. So I I know. I knew that was going to happen to make it any better. And it's just like, when I thought it was going to happen, like there's another bit, slightly before, I thought it was going to happen then, and it didn't. So how it happened at the end, if you've read it, like you probably understand what I mean, like how it happened, I was not expecting. It occurred to me that I had yet to finish this vlog um which i actually technically finished yesterday when i finished magnolia parks thank you so much for watching this week's today's whatever you want to call it today's video um i still am not over the ending i'm gonna cry again now i've just thought about it i'm still not over the ending of magnolia parks long way home i was literally just listening to Back to December by Taylor Swift and nearly burst out crying thinking of Magnolia and BJ and December 3rd and knowing what the meaning of December 3rd is now. Honestly, I was literally just nearly bawling my eyes out on the way home from work. So there we go. Um, that's how much I enjoyed that book and how much I'm going to think about it forever. Um, but yeah, five star read. Absolutely devastated. Don't know what to do with myself now, but that is the end of the video <laughs> because I finished it. But honestly... If you have not read the Magnolia Park series, and I've still got a couple of books left, but I seriously recommend this series. Don't go into it thinking it's a romance. It is not. And Jessa Hastings has made that very clear. It's not a romance. People are classing it as a romance, but it is quite toxic relationship. You're not going to get a happy ending in the book that you're wishing to have a happy ending for. It doesn't happen. It's very, I think, quite realistic on the miscommunication that can happen in a relationship when you're, when you have some things to work on yourself, because Magnolia and BJ have their own things to work on. So in this book, there was a lot of like self development 
while also nest also trying a little bit to grow together i can't really explain it very well without ruining the book um but yeah five star read and i am so desperate now to read daisy hates the great undoing because there was hints to like things were going on with those characters and in the magnolia parks books you don't really know much about that you have to read the daisy hates books to know about what's going on um so yeah i'm going to read that one soon i need to know what is happening because things were happening in the book and i have no explanation for them <laughs> um and julian hates oh my god i didn't understand the hype really around him and i think feel like i'm going to understand the hype more once i've read um the great undoing but him oh <laughs> No, I'm finishing my vlog. <laughs> okay. Great undoing. Sorry, my mum asked me not to ask her what she looks like, but I've just seen her run across the road and she's got pyjamas on. <laughs> so that's probably made me laugh now. Hi mum, if you're watching this, you looked very funny. So I feel like I'll understand that more once I've finished that book, which I'm hoping to finish in like a vlog very soon. So you can hear my thoughts on that too um so yeah that's where i'm at i haven't got any more words <laughs> to say other than um thank you for watching today's video i'm trying to come back with more videos i started off the year strong but then i've had a really busy couple of weeks with the whole process of changing jobs or getting prepared to change jobs because i'm changing jobs very soon um and it's just a lot there's a lot to do there's a lot of uni stuff going on and it's just generally a lot of stuff so that's where i'm at but there will be more videos very soon i'm planning on it and i'm feeling like i'm getting a little bit more back on track um somewhat so yeah but like i said thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you go on to read the magnolia park series and if you have already read it then please um tell me your thoughts in the comments and which book out of the series including into the dark if you've read that one because that's but that has only just come out so um of the ones you've read so far what is your favorite if you've read the series obviously but that is all for today and like i said i will see you very soon i've got some exciting vlogs coming up i'm going on holiday soon so there should be some more like reading on holiday ones um and i tend to read a lot on holiday so look out for those and i'll see you very very soon bye